morning, quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a neat new quadcopter. Uh, this is the Ishin Racer 130. Now, what is the Ishin Racer 130? Let's open this up and see what we got inside here. Opening the box, this is the ready to fly version. We see we get, well, the charger for, for the quadcopter, but also an Ishin i6, rebranded Flysky i6 transmitter. But let's look at the quadcopter itself here. Get it out of the box here. This is the Ishin Racer 130. Now the Ishin Racer 130, you look at it and say, wow, that's a little, one of those little micro FPV quadcopters, but it's a little bit bigger. It has something different than you see these other small uh, micro FPV quadcopters in that this one does have brushless motors. We look at it, these are uh, 4,000 kV motors. That means 4,000 uh, RPM per volt motors, very high speed. Uh, with that in mind, they also have 10 amp ESCs to provide power to these. Uh, one thing about this though, these propellers appear to be very brittle, so you're probably going to want to purchase additional propellers for this quadcopter, and they are available on Banggood. Uh, you get two pairs of propellers, that's a total of eight propellers for about $1.50, so I strongly recommend if you're considering this quadcopter, get yourself some extra propellers to go with it. Uh, starting from the back, or the front of the quadcopter, we have a uh, 700 TVL camera. FPV camera. It can be uh, pointed up or down 12 degrees by just simply pushing on this little knob here. I'm going to point it slightly upward uh, for this FPV flight. And additionally, additionally, it comes with a 720p camera, that you, a record, recordable camera. And there's a little SD card slot um, right there on the back of it. And it's, this camera is powered by the quadcopter's battery which is a 3S 450 milliamp hour battery. That's a tiny little 3S battery. That's the smallest 3S battery I've ever seen is about a four, yeah, 450 milliamp hour. But they made one for this particular quadcopter. The quadcopter's uh, shell is entirely um, carbon, carbon fiber, with some uh, little aluminum metal posts here uh, to separate the, the uh, the camera deck or the battery deck from the rest of the quadcopter. Um, it has a NACE 32 flight control board, a 6D flight control board. That means it also has compass and barometer uh, outputs, but uh, this does not use those. <laughs> so um, it, on the FPV, um, I don't see any compass. There's no on-screen display with this. So mainly you want, you got an ACE32 board in other words, uh, which is configurable via clean flight. Uh, Let's see, what else do we got here? We have a 40 channel, 300 milliwatt FPV transmitter. And you can uh, set the different frequencies. There's little pins there to set the different frequencies of output from the transmitter. Um, and this antenna here is your FPV transmitter antenna. Uh, the receiver uh, antenna is this little wire. You'll see a little wire antenna right there. Um, so the receiver antenna that for this is uh, buried inside the center of the carbon fiber uh, sandwich here. Um, additionally, you got LED on the back. You can change the colors of the LED through these little dip switches here. And let's see if I mentioned anything else. That's about it, folks. Um, let's go over the transmitter and how I have this set up. Again, the transmitter is an Ishin i6, rebranded Flysky i6. Um, the way it was set up, this bottom position was angle. The center position was horizon, and the top position was acro. I went into clean flight and re reversed that. I prefer angle on top, horizon on the center, and acro on the bottom. Additionally, I forgot to mention, this has a beeper. And it's set up strictly for uh, using the beeper to tell you when you have low battery power. It's going to alert you with a beep. But since it has a beeper, you can also go into clean flight, and this is what I did. You can turn on that beeper if you land and crash out in the field somewhere and have a hard time finding it. I set it so when I flip this switch here, switch B, uh, the beeper will turn on and I'll be able to find the quadcopter. So that's a setup. Uh, let's go for a flight and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. I'm sorry, I couldn't get my, the signal to show up on my DVR here, and I don't have... I normally come with my little green watch to tell me what the frequency that this is transmitting on, but I've, I've gone through all the frequencies on my uh, VRD2s, but I couldn't find it. But we'll, we're going to fly it just as is. Okay, I'm arm, let's check that beeper first. Hear it beeping? So the beeper's working. Okay, I'm arming the quadcopter. We're going to start off in angle mode here. 
and take it into the air. Seeing how steady it is. It wants to tilt to the left a bit. So let's adjust that. Yeah, let's just go out and fly it. <laughs> Its beeper is beeping already. I don't see how that could be because I've only been flying it for a bit here. But it flies somewhat nicely. I kind of like it. Now this is a, a racer that you could actually take to the park. Come on, I charged that. <laughs> I charged that up before coming out here. So that battery's not weak yet. But it, it beeps a little there. When you give it high power output, it beeps. Let's try something here, folks. I'm going to go into Horizon. Going up a bit. Yeah, it regains its balance quite easily. So you can do flips and rolls quite easily with it, even close to the ground. But notice how that beeper goes off already. Might be because it's a cold day, but let's go around the field a bit. But what I was saying is, you know, this is a small racer that you could actually take to a local park like this and fly it. Why is it beeping already, though? That I don't know. <laughs> it's supposed to have nine minutes of flight time, but if it's beeping already, I doubt it's going to give you that. But it's flying nicely. Okay, let's go down to the end of the field and bring it back. <laughs> I'm ignoring that beeper right now. I have that switch up. We're going to run it until it actually gets weak. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't fly this indoors. But it is a good outdoor flyer. And a good little park flyer like this. Perfect. I'm, I just wish I could have showed you the FPV. I'm going to try this again in a second flight. This is just my first flight with it. But we'll take it out again once I figure that FPV. A lot of that FPV wasn't working, but... It's a nice flyer. <laughs> a little acrobatic too. So yeah, kind of nice. I like it. Okay, let's bring it in close here. I'm worried about that beeper. We'll figure it out later. Um, it might be the cold. Today is a cold day actually out here in the desert. But there it is in flight. One more flight I find. I'm totally ignoring the beeper warning because there's no way that battery is brand new. <laughs> it's, I just beeped it, or I just, and it it feels like it's got a lot of power to it. So I think the the beeper setting on it is might be off. I mean, it feels like it's got tons of power left in it. Not sluggish at all. So, okay, we'll bring it in. This is just the first look at the Ishin Racer 130. Uh, I will recharge the battery. We'll go for another flight of this, on another, maybe tomorrow. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. Let's land it. And I want to see how the camera, what the camera looks like on this. But yeah, it's beeping. We can hear that. <laughs> okay, it's locked. And turning off that camera. Okay, the light has stopped. Unplugging the quadcopter and give you initial thoughts on this. Very maneuverable little thing. Perfect for flying in a little park like this. You know, parks like this, you don't normally want to fly a racer, especially around people. But this is just the perfect size to be flying um, in a park. Uh, it shouldn't bother people too much because of its small size and its, you know, 
not really going to hurt you that much if you hit somebody with it. Uh, the camera, it comes with its own camera, uh, 720p, 30 frames per second. We'll see what the quality of that is in post-flight. Um, I, you know, I did get the FPV to work in the house. I don't know why it's not working out here today. Uh, might be something with my goggles. I'll try it again. We're going to give this another shot tomorrow. Um, the beeper, you know, the low battery beeper went off as soon as I took to the air, you know. Um, I, I did charge this battery. Maybe it needs to be recharged again. Maybe it needs to be cycled a few times. Um, I'm going to do that at home. I'm going to charge it and cycle it on my uh, my charger at home. And then we'll come back, back out here again on another day and give this a second chance out here. So, hope you enjoyed this first flight of the Ishin Racer 130. It has, actually is a promising little quadcopter. You know, while I was flying it, it was very maneuverable. Uh, I enjoyed flying it. So, uh, again, uh, I kind of like it. So, this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight, Quadcopter 101, signing out.